Born on August 9, 1963, in Newark, New Jersey, Whitney Houston was destined for musical greatness. Her mother, Sissy Houston, was a gospel singer and backup vocalist for artists like Aretha Franklin. Whitney's cousins, Dion and Dee Dee Warwick, were also successful singers. With such a rich musical background, it's no surprise that Whitney was exposed to music from a young age. Whitney's family recognized her talent early on. As a child, she sang in the choir at New Hope Baptist Church in Newark, where her mother was the choir director. By the time she was a teenager, Whitney was already performing backup vocals for her mother and other artists. One of Whitney's earliest mentors was Clive Davis, the legendary music executive who discovered her in the late 1970s. Davis saw Whitney performing at a nightclub in New York City and was immediately impressed by her powerful voice and stage presence. He became her mentor and helped her launch her successful music career. Whitney's upbringing and early exposure to music played a significant role in shaping her as an artist. Her family's gospel roots and her mother's connections in the music industry provided her with a strong foundation in music. Meanwhile, her mentor, Clive Davis, helped her refine her sound and connect with a wider audience. In addition to her family and Clive Davis, Whitney was also influenced by artists. Whitney was also influenced by artists like Chaka Khan, Roberta Flack, and Gladys Knight. She drew inspiration from their powerful voices and soulful performances, incorporating elements of their styles into her own music. Whitney's early years were marked by a deep love for music and a natural talent for performing. With the support of her family and mentors, she was able to develop her skills and become one of the most successful music artists of all time. Whitney Houston was a truly inspiring music artist, known for her powerful voice and incredible talent. Her work has touched the hearts of many, and it's likely that you have a favorite moment or memory associated with her music. Do you remember the first time you heard Whitney's iconic voice? Was there a particular song or performance that had a lasting impact on you? For many, her rendition of the national anthem at the Super Bowl in 1991 still resonates today. Whitney's music has also had a profound impact on people's lives in more personal ways. Perhaps you were inspired by her strength and determination, or her music helped you through a difficult time. We'd love to hear your stories and memories about this classic star. So, whether you have a favorite song, a personal anecdote, or a treasured memory related to Whitney Houston, we want to hear from you. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And stay tuned because there are many surprising and fascinating facts coming up about Whitney Houston's life and career. From her humble beginnings to her meteoric rise to fame, this classic star's journey is one you won't want to miss. Raised in a musical family, Whitney Houston's passion for music was nurtured from a young age. Her mother, Sissy Houston, a gospel singer and backup vocalist for artists like Aretha Franklin, often took Whitney to rehearsals and recording sessions. By the time she was a teenager, Whitney was already singing in the church choir and occasionally performing backup for her mother. One pivotal experience that fueled Whitney's desire to pursue a music career was when she was chosen to be a backup singer for Chaka Khan, a renowned R&B artist at the age of 17. This opportunity allowed her to witness the inner workings of the music industry and further ignited her passion for music. During this period, Whitney also befriended singer and an actress, Robin Crawford, who became her close confidant and support system. Crawford encouraged Whitney to pursue her dreams and even helped her get an audition with Clive Davis, the president of Arista Records. In 1983, Whitney Houston signed with Arista Records, launching her successful music career. Her debut album, released in 1985, included hits like Saving All My Love For You and How Will I Know, which catapulted her to stardom and solidified her place in music history. From a young age, Whitney Houston was surrounded by music and had the support of her family and friends to pursue her passion. Her natural talent and determination combined with pivotal experiences and opportunities ultimately led her 
to become one of the most successful and influential music artists of all time. Whitney Houston was born on August 9, 1963, in Newark, New Jersey. She was the daughter of Sissy Houston, a gospel singer and backup vocalist for artists like Aretha Franklin and Army serviceman John Russell Houston Jr. Whitney's family had a rich musical background with her cousins Diane and Dee Dee Warwick also achieving success in the industry. Growing up in a household filled with music, Whitney began singing in her church choir at a young age. Her mother's connections in the music industry allowed her to accompany famous musicians on tour, where she gained valuable experience performing live. By her teenage years, Whitney was already making a name for herself as a talented singer. In the late 1970s, Whitney signed a contract with Arista Records, beginning her journey to become one of the most successful musicians of all time. Her self-titled debut album, released in 1985, included hits like Saving All My Love For You and How Will I Know, propelling her to international stardom. Whitney's personal life also had a significant impact on her career. Her highly publicized marriage to Bobby Brown in 1992 and their subsequent struggles with drug addiction were widely covered by the media. Despite these challenges, Whitney continued to release successful albums and embark on world tours. Tragically, Whitney's life was cut short when she died at the age of 48 in 2012. However, her music and legacy continue to live on, inspiring new generations of musicians and fans alike. Her powerful voice and unforgettable performances have left an indelible mark on the music industry, making her a true icon of popular culture. Born into a family of music lovers, Whitney Houston's journey to stardom was not without its challenges. Raised in a housing project in New Jersey, the music artist witnessed her mother, Sissy Houston, a successful gospel and R&B singer, navigate the industry's ups and downs. Financial struggles were a constant presence in Whitney's early life, but her family's passion for music fostered her incredible talent. Despite her mother's accomplishments, Whitney faced skepticism from the industry. As a black woman, she was expected to fit into specific categories and stereotypes. Determined to defy these expectations, she honed her skills and developed a unique sound that combined gospel, soul, and pop. Whitney's breakthrough came when she was discovered by Clive Davis, a renowned music executive. However, even with his support, she had to work tirelessly to prove herself. In her early career, Whitney faced criticism for being too polished and too commercial. To overcome these perceptions, she took control of her image and demonstrated her vocal prowess through powerful, emotive performances. Whitney's resilience and determination led her to become one of the most successful music artists of all time. Her ability to adapt and innovate within the industry, combined with her unforgettable voice, solidified her place in music history. Despite the early obstacles, Whitney Houston persevered and left an indelible mark on the world of music. In 2000, Whitney Houston and her husband, Bobby Brown, encountered trouble during a trip to Hawaii. Security guards discovered marijuana in their baggage, but the couple was still allowed to board their plane. This incident did not diminish the singer's success as she remained a prominent figure in the music industry. The Bodyguard, a classic film released in 1992, showcases Whitney Houston's exceptional talent. The soundtrack for this movie became the world's best-selling soundtrack, with over 37 million units sold. It also ranks as the best-selling female album of all time, highlighting the music artist's significant influence on the music industry. In September 2001, false rumors of Whitney Houston's death circulated, causing distress among her fans. However, her spokesperson quickly dispelled these rumors, and the music artist continued her successful career. Despite these challenges, Whitney Houston's impact on the music industry remains unmatched, and her work continues to resonate with fans worldwide. In the early phase of her career, Whitney Houston's breakthrough moment arrived with her debut album in 1985. This classic, featuring hits like Saving All My Love For You, and How Will I Know showcased her powerful voice and versatile style. The album quickly soared to the top of the charts 
and earned the music artist her first Grammy Award. Clive Davis, a renowned music industry executive who discovered Houston, praised her unique talent, stating, Whitney's voice had an ethereal quality, yet she could also deliver powerful emotive ballads with ease. In 1992, the music artist delivered another groundbreaking project with a soundtrack for the film The Bodyguard. The showstopper was her unforgettable rendition of Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You, which became a massive hit and one of the best-selling singles of all time. The soundtrack as a whole demonstrated Houston's ability to transcend genres and solidified her status as an iconic figure in the music industry. Kevin Costner, her co-star in The Bodyguard, recalled working with Houston, she was a consummate professional and her talent was simply unmatched. When she sang, it was like an emotional tidal wave that swept everyone away. These breakthrough moments not only brought critical acclaim and commercial success for Whitney Houston, but also paved the way for future artists to explore various genres and push the boundaries of their craft. Whitney Houston, a music artist known for her powerful voice and numerous hits, faced a tragic end on the afternoon of February 11, 2012. She was found unresponsive in her hotel room at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel and was pronounced dead at 3.55 p.m. PST. The news of her death sent shockwaves through the music industry and among her fans worldwide. Throughout her career, Houston received numerous accolades for her work. In fact, she holds the record for winning the most American Music Awards with a total of 26 awards. Her talent and contributions to the music industry were widely recognized and celebrated. However, Houston's personal life was marked by tragedy. Her daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, passed away on July 26, 2015, at the young age of 22. Brown had been in a medically induced coma for the past six months after being found unconscious face down in her bathtub. The circumstances surrounding her death were eerily similar to those of her mother's untimely passing. The legacy of Whitney Houston lives on through her music and the memory she created for her fans. Her impact on the music industry is still felt today, and her records and achievements serve as a testament to her talent and dedication. Despite the challenges she faced in her personal life, Houston's contributions to music will always be remembered and celebrated. Whitney Houston The renowned music artist was known for her powerful and emotive voice. Her creative process often began with selecting songs that resonated with her personally. She once mentioned, I have to feel what I'm singing about. I have to believe it. This emotional connection is evident in her performances, where she often conveyed a wide range of emotions, from joy to heartbreak. Houston's approach to music was deeply rooted in her gospel upbringing. She frequently incorporated gospel elements into her pop and R&B songs, creating a unique style that blended different genres. Her album, The Preacher's Wife, is a testament to her gospel roots. The music artist's personal experiences greatly influenced her work. For instance, her song Exhale from the film Waiting to Exhale reflected her understanding of the complexities of women's lives. Similarly, her version of the national anthem at the Super Bowl in 1991 was a poignant tribute to American soldiers serving in the Gulf War. Houston's worldview was also reflected in her music. She used her platform to advocate for social issues, such as HIV-AIDS awareness, which she addressed in her song, Step by Step. Her activism was a natural extension of her belief in using her talents to make a positive impact. In essence, Whitney Houston's creative process was deeply personal, rooted in her gospel upbringing, and reflective of her experiences and worldview. Her unique approach to music has left an indelible mark on the industry, inspiring countless artists who have followed in her footsteps. In the early stages of her career, the music artist Whitney Houston ventured into acting, making her debut in a non-singing role as Rita, a friend of Katie Kaniski in the season three episode of Katie's College. Although she narrowly missed out on the role of Sandra Huxtable on The Cosby Show to Sabrina Lebioff, Houston's talent was undeniable. Her first two albums, Whitney Houston and Whitney, 
were massive successes in the UK, each spending over 100 weeks on the chart. Despite peaking at number two, her debut album paved the way for her second album, Whitney, which took the top spot on the chart, pushing Simple Minds Live in the City of Light to number two. This classic held its position for six consecutive weeks, solidifying Houston's status as a music superstar. Whitney Houston, the music artist, left an indelible mark on the industry with her powerful voice and emotive storytelling. Born on August 9, 1963, in Newark, New Jersey, she began her career as a backing vocalist before releasing her debut album in 1985. The artist's contributions to music are immense. Her unique vocal style, characterized by a remarkable range and impeccable control, set new standards for female vocalists. Music experts and fans alike credit her with redefining the boundaries of pop soul and R&B music. Houston's influence extends beyond her vocal prowess. She played a pivotal role in shaping the visual language of music videos, often appearing as a strong, confident, and glamorous figure. Her music videos such as I Will Always Love You and How Will I Know remain iconic examples of 80s music video aesthetics. Moreover, the music artist was known for her ability to convey deep emotions through her performances. Her rendition of the national anthem at the Super Bowl in 1991 is a testament to her impact on storytelling and music. Her powerful performance moved millions and has since become a classic moment in American sports history. Industry experts and those inspired by the music artist have praised her contributions. Clive Davis, the music executive who discovered Houston, described her as a miraculous God-given talent. Deanna Warwick, Houston's cousin and fellow music artist, echoed this sentiment, stating, she had the perfect instrument. Artists such as Mariah Carey, Beyonce, and Christina Aguilera have cited Houston as a significant influence. Carey, in particular, has often spoken about Houston's impact on her own career, stating, Whitney was the ultimate singer and the ultimate performer. In conclusion, Whitney Houston's contributions to the music industry are immeasurable. Her powerful voice, emotive storytelling, and influence on music video aesthetics have left a lasting impact on the industry and continue to inspire new generations of artists. Whitney Houston, a music artist known for her powerful voice, had close relationships with Deborah Cox, Loretta Devine, and Vivica, a fox. At the young age of 21, Houston won her first Grammy Award for the song Saving All My Love For You, which was presented to her by Dionne Warwick and Julian Lennon at the Shrine Auditorium. In her hometown of East Orange, New Jersey, the Whitney E. Houston Academy stands as a tribute to her legacy. The Academy provides education to students, carrying on the music artist's name, an impact in her community. As a talented individual, Whitney Houston's achievements in the music industry were vast, and her influence continues to be felt today. Her Grammy win at such a young age was just the beginning of a successful career filled with numerous accolades and achievements. The Whitney E. Houston Academy, located in her hometown, is a testament to the music artist's impact on her community and the world. The Academy's focus on education and community involvement is a reflection of Houston's own values and contributions. In short, Whitney Houston was a talented music artist who had a significant impact on the industry and her community. From her early Grammy win to the establishment of the Whitney E. Houston Academy, her legacy continues to inspire and make a difference in the lives of many. Whitney Houston, the renowned music artist, was known for her powerful voice and electrifying performances. However, her life extended beyond the stage and her personal values and interests often influenced her work. Houston was a devoted Christian and her faith played a significant role in her music with many of her songs containing spiritual themes and messages. The musages, the music artist's love for her family was also evident in her work. She often dedicated songs to her loved ones and incorporated elements of her family life into her music. For instance, her hit song, Greatest Love of All, was written as a tribute to her daughter, Bobby Christina. Houston was also passionate about giving back to her community 
and making a positive impact on the world. She was involved in various philanthropic efforts throughout her career, using her platform to raise awareness and funds for various causes. One of her most notable philanthropic endeavors was her work with the Children's Defense Fund, an organization dedicated to advocating for children's rights and ensuring they have access to education, health care, and other essential services. The music artist was also a strong advocate for HIV AIDS awareness and prevention. She performed at several benefit concerts and events to raise funds and awareness for the cause, including the Commitment to Life concert in 1990, which raised over two million for AIDS research and education. Houston's generosity extended beyond her philanthropic efforts. She was known for her kindness and compassion towards her fans and those around her. She often went out of her way to make a positive impact on those she met. Whether it was taking the time to sign autographs or offering words of encouragement and support. In conclusion, Whitney Houston's personal values and interests played a significant role in shaping her music and her philanthropic efforts. Her faith, love for her family, and passion for giving back to her community were all integral parts of her life and work. Despite her untimely passing, her legacy continues to inspire and uplift people around the world. After gaining popularity as a model, gracing the covers of magazines like Seventeen and Glamour, Whitney Houston transitioned into the world of music. Her contributions to arts and entertainment were recognized in 2013 when she, along with her cousin Dionne Warwick, was inducted into the New Jersey Hall of Fame. The music artist's career was filled with notable opportunities. In 2009, she was offered a role on the popular TV show Glee, but turned it down. The role of Grace Hitchens eventually went to Eve. Despite this, Whitney Houston's impact on the music industry remained significant. Her influence extended beyond music, as she was also a prominent figure in the film industry. Her classic performance in The Bodyguard is still cherished by many today. Through her work in music and film, Whitney Houston left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Whitney Houston's impact on the music industry is undeniable. Her powerful voice and emotive performances captivated audiences, making her one of the best-selling artists of all time. Even today, her music remains a classic, resonating with fans of all ages. The music artist's legacy lies in her ability to connect with listeners on a deep level. She broke barriers as a black woman in a predominantly white industry, paving the way for future generations of artists to thrive. Her contributions to music, film, and pop culture continue to inspire and influence aspiring professionals. For those looking to follow in Whitney Houston's footsteps, she offered this advice, the biggest devil is me. I'm either my best friend or my worst enemy. This classic music artist understood the importance of self-belief and self-care in achieving success. She emphasized the need to stay true to oneself and not let external pressures dictate one's path. In terms of future contributions, the music artist's legacy serves as a reminder that music has the power to bring people together and inspire change. By continuing to create authentic and meaningful art, aspiring professionals can carry on Whitney Houston's legacy and leave their own indelible mark on the industry. In conclusion, Whitney Houston's contributions to the music industry will forever be remembered. Her impact transcended generations and will continue to inspire aspiring professionals for years to come. By staying true to oneself and creating authentic art, anyone can follow in this music artist's footsteps and leave a lasting legacy. Whitney Houston's career as a music artist is marked by numerous achievements. She became a mother in 1993, delivering her daughter Bobby Christina Brown via emergency cesarean section after a 14-hour labor. Remarkably, just four months after giving birth, 
the music artists returned to work to participate in the Bodyguard World Tour. This classic motion picture, The Bodyguard, Mark Houston's acting debut, and its soundtrack included the smash hit, I Will Always Love You. The song held the number one spot on Billboard's Hot 100 for an astounding 14 weeks, from November 28, 1992, to February 27, 1993. In the 1980s, Houston had an unparalleled run of seven consecutive number one records in the United States. As a testament to her talent and enduring popularity, she remains one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Her contributions to the world of music continue to be cherished by fans of all ages. Whitney Houston's journey in the music industry is a testament to the power of passion and perseverance. Born in 1963, she grew up in a household filled with love for music. Her mother, Sissy Houston, a successful gospel and R&B singer, and her godmother, Aretha Franklin, one of the greatest singers of all time, nurtured her talent from a young age. As a child, Whitney was captivated by the magic of gospel music, and her passion for it only grew stronger as she got older. She began performing in her church choir and quickly gained recognition for her extraordinary voice. Her unique sound, a powerful blend of gospel, soul, and pop, would eventually become her trademark. Whitney's career took off in the 1980s, and she quickly became a household name. Her self-titled debut album, released in 1985, was a massive success, selling over 25 million copies worldwide. The album included hits like Saving All My Love For You and How Will I Know, which showcased her incredible vocal range and versatility. Over the years, Whitney continued to push the boundaries of what was possible in the music industry. She starred in the classic film The Bodyguard and recorded the iconic song I Will Always Love You, which became one of the best-selling singles of all time. Her live performances were legendary, and she inspired countless musicians who came after her. Despite the challenges she faced later in her career, including personal struggles and health issues, Whitney never lost her passion for music. She continued to perform and record until her untimely death in 2012. Whitney Houston's impact on the entertainment industry is immeasurable. Her innovative sound, unforgettable performances, and enduring hits have left a lasting legacy that continues to inspire musicians today. Her journey is a powerful reminder that with passion, creativity, and perseverance, anything is possible. The Preacher's Wife soundtrack, released in 1996, holds the title of the best-selling gospel album of all time. This classic even held the number one spot for a record-breaking 26 weeks on the Billboard Top Gospel Albums chart. The music artist's involvement in this project further solidified her status as a versatile musician. Whitney Houston had three stepchildren, Landon Brown, Ella Princia Brown, and Bobby Brown Jr. These three individuals were an essential part of the music artist's blended family. One of the last times the music artist was seen on camera was during a rehearsal for Monica and Brandy's performance at Clive Davis's pre-Grammy party. Interestingly, Brandy was unaware that Houston had planned a surprise birthday party for her on the night she passed away. This revelation adds a layer of poignancy to the music artist's final days. Whitney Houston's powerful rendition of I Will Always Love You from the 1992 film. The Bodyguard holds a significant spot, ranked at hash 65 on the American Film Institute's list of the 100 years of the greatest song. This classic ballad is a testament to her vocal prowess and her ability to leave a lasting impact on her audience. In addition to her film contributions, the music artist has also made a mark in the music industry. She has earned an impressive 14 gold singles in the United States, ranking her second only to Madonna among female artists. This accomplishment speaks volumes about her enduring popularity and the timeless quality of her music. Moreover, Whitney Houston's allure extends beyond her music. She was ranked number 24 on Beyond's 100 Sexiest Artists list highlighting her appeal to a wide audience. Her captivating presence and undeniable charm 
have left a lasting impression on her fans and have solidified her place in the annals of music and pop culture history. Whitney Houston's album Whitney made history in 1987 by becoming the first female album to debut at number one on the Billboard charts. This classic is a testament to the music artist's talent and popularity. The world's best-selling debut album by a female is none other than Whitney Houston, with over 24 million copies sold. This impressive figure cements the music artist's status as a trailblazer in the industry. It's no wonder that she was ranked number 61 on Vion's Greatest Women of Rock and Roll. Her impact on the music landscape is still felt today, and her timeless hits continue to captivate audiences worldwide. As we take time to appreciate the music artist Whitney Houston, let's remember her incredible impact on the world of music. With a voice as smooth as silk, and a stage presence that could light up any room, she quickly became a force to be reckoned with. Her debut album, released in 1985, soared to the top of the charts and solidified her status as a rising star. Over the years, the music artist continued to captivate audiences with her powerful ballads and upbeat anthems. Her rendition of the national anthem at the Super Bowl in 1991 still resonates with many to this day. Unfortunately, her life was cut short but her music and legacy continue to live on. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your favorite memories of Whitney Houston and her work? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's keep the music artist's legacy alive for generations.